Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're uh, using Topaz Studio 2 as a standalone product. We're going to save that project out at the end. Uh, we're going to make this image. We're using a plugin inside of uh, Topaz Studio 2, the Topaz Adjust AI plugin. It's going to be a great tutorial. You're going to learn a lot. Also, in the uh, description below, I'm going to link you this image. You can download this image and follow along with me if you'd like to. It's a good way of learning. Also, in the uh, description below is my affiliate link for Topaz Software. If you click on that link, that'll take you to the Topaz Software site. Any Topaz software you purchase, you're going to save 15% when you click on that link. And at checkout, use my coupon code, David Kelly. This helps me out. I get a small commission. It helps me keeping these YouTube videos coming at you. Hey, let's get started and have some fun today. Let's put our creative hats on and let's get going. I feel this image is a bit too wide. So what I want to do is crop it first. So come down to the crop tool and let's just... Uh, on the right side crop in right to about here I think this is a good point and I'm just gonna click apply and I like that crop secondly we're gonna come up to filters and we're gonna use one of my favorites which is adjust AI and in adjust AI I think I'm gonna use the um, HDR style here here cuz I'm looking for like a fantasy looking type painterly type image and right there, that's looking pretty cool. Now, let me see here. I'm going to change my temperature here. I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Let's see where we want to go to. Maybe right around there. Maybe not quite as much. Yeah, maybe right around 50, I think looks good. And on clarity, let's just bump up the uh, low clarity just a little bit. I just want to bring a little bit, of more, little bit more detail out. And let's see. Yeah, just a little bit of detail maybe right around there and um, maybe the tint I just want to back this tint off magenta a little bit right now it's at zero I don't want to take it more to magenta I just want to take it a little towards the green side and I'm kind of watching up in here see watch if I go too far this starts to turn green I don't want that turning green I want it to stay yellow but not quite as intense so maybe yeah maybe around there or you know right around there like a negative 0 0.05 towards the green side of things and let's just go ahead and click apply and that'll bring us right back into topaz studio too so we've come from this image to this image so far let's play around with the color a little bit let's come up to add filter and get the color theme filter which is right here this is a really cool filter and it breaks your image down into the uh, I believe it's like the five strongest colors and see this reddish color right here which represents this color right here it's a little too red for me so what I want to do is first off I want to darken it a little bit like this see how I can just ease off in a little bit and a little bit more right there and then I'm just gonna pull down on it just to desaturate it just a little bit whoops stay on that darker side of things maybe yeah maybe right around in there now let's click this eye right here so here's the before and there's the after yeah that's pretty good let's click on color theme again now this color um, right here which represents these colors over here on the light side of things I'm gonna click on this one and I'm gonna darken that a little bit by pulling this lightness back just a little bit just to see how I can just darken that up a little bit I don't want that too strong and maybe right about there and what if I were to warm it a little see if I go this way it's gonna go pink I don't want it to go pink probably right around where it was was good yeah right there now let's try this other color right here which is more of this light up in here let's just pull that back a little bit yeah just see ease off in that light there just a little bit because I don't want our eyes being drawn too strong to that light I still want it to stay light and what if I were to uh, maybe can I go more yellow with it or maybe right around there going a little into the redder side of things right there now let's click this eye up here. Here's the before and here's the after. Some subtle changes, but I think we're going in the right direction. Now let's go ahead and add an abstraction filter. 
This is what I'm going to use to give me that painterly look. And let's just pull the simplify size up. And I'm thinking maybe around, and right there already, you know, it's looking pretty good, right? That's around a 24. And, and I like it. So let's look, here's the before and here's the after. Let's work with some layer masking just to bring some details back to strategic parts of this, of this abstraction here. So let's click on the uh, add mask icon right here. And let's get ourselves a brush. And I'm going to start out by taking my transparency. Uh, moving it more towards white, like a gray color, somewhere around the middle, around a 50, and take a test swap here. Uh, I'm just going to leave my edge aware on my radius uh, right around the size it is. Let's take a little sample here just to see what happens if I paint a little bit in here. See how I bring a little bit of detail? Let me do a Command Z or Control Z, or you could hit the undo here. Uh, that was a little too strong. So I want to maybe, let's try around a 70 here and see what that looks like. Yeah, that's a little nicer, I think. I want some of that detail through, but I don't want all that detail coming through. And I'm just trying in, this, in the forest right here in certain areas, I just want a little bit of detail to pop through here because I think that looks really pretty. Now we can vary our brush size. Let's make it smaller and paint on this tree right down through here. Maybe give it a little more detail. We can alter our transparency. Just pull it back a little bit. Yeah, a little, let a little bit of that come through. Through here, up through here. And let me alter this a little uh, back up more towards white. Let's let a few of these little um, areas of trees come in. Isn't that cool? You know, we're just throwing a little bit and maybe up in here a little bit because this is closer to us. Let's bring some detail back in this tree right here. Now this one I might bring a little more detail, so I'll take the transparency back even more on this particular tree. I'm not doing a really good painting job here, but hopefully it's sufficient enough. And now let's bring this up higher, closer to white. And let's see if I can bring a little bit of detail up into the foreground here. Not a lot of detail, but just a little bit of detail here. Yeah, something like that. And even on this area here, let's paint this in a little and see what we get here. Yeah, a little bit of detail there. And obviously we have to do it on our road as well. This is a lot of fun. I really enjoy this. And... You know, you just have to think well, what would make what would improve this image. Now, how about some of these, some of this information back in here? Let's make our radius smaller, and let's add a little bit of that detail back in there, maybe in here, back right through here, and just just have fun and just paint around areas where you think you want a little more detail to show through. Let it paint through. This is where you get to be the artist. You decide, you know, don't let the program decide for you. Topaz give us some, uh, you know, they give us these tools, but we don't want to, we don't want our images to look like they came out of a can. You know, we want to put our trademark on them. I mean, I'm putting my trademark on this. You put your trademark on yours. They're all going to come out different. We're all going to be creative. But see, I'm just letting some details pop out in there. Just in certain tr uh, strategic areas. Hey, if I could talk. Things would be better. Oh well. I get excited. I'm sorry. Yeah, see I'm just letting a little bit of detail come through there. Maybe up in here. Just to let a little bit through. I don't have to hit every area. Just certain areas right there. Now let's click this eye right here. Here's the before and here's the after. I think it's looking really pretty and I'm happy with it so far. It's a great day to be alive and a great day to create. Let's come up to add filter. And let me get one of my favorite filters. I think you're going to enjoy this one. It's called Glow. I love Topaz Studio too because I call it my creative toolbox because it helps me to really create. I'm going to have this Glow filter at... Um, I'm going to keep it in the normal blend mode. I have it set to the primary glow type of dark and I'm set for primary. I'm going to take my uh, Glow primary up here to like... I'm thinking maybe right around 49. I'm not going to do much in here. I'm just going to take it up to like around a 48, 49. 
Then I'm going to take my sharpness, and I know it looks bad right now, but just bear with me here. I'm going to take my sharpness up to 85, and you'll see those lines getting sharper. That's the direction I'm going. I'm going to sharpen them up. This is my own little technique that I came up with, and hey, I'm sharing it with all my friends. So I'm sharing it with you guys, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so next I'm going to take the opacity here and pull it back a lot. Let's take it the whole way off right now. Now I'm going to slowly build it up. And watch what it does. It's just going to add a beautiful softness to the image. And I'm going to bring it up to about maybe an 18, somewhere right around there. Now look how soft and beautiful that is. And it makes some of the lines get a little stronger and stand out because I use that dark glow type. Now watch. Let me shut the eyeball off. And I'll turn it back on. But you notice I get that. I get a nice contrasty look, but I get a nice soft glow to the overall image and I really think that looks nice and that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm drawn to this light right in here so I want to accent it. I'm going to do two different filters to accent it. The first filter I'm going to use to bring our viewer into that part of the image is click add filter and get a precision contrast filter. I'm going to take the micro contrast and bump it up you know, it's somewhere around a 47, somewhere around there. And now let's just look right here. Don't worry about the rest of the image. I'm only interested in right here. And I might bring that low up a little bit as well. It's not really doing much, but just, just a little bit on the low there. Let's come to the layer mask, add a layer mask. Let's invert the layer mask. Uh, and then we'll get a brush. And we'll get a brush. Let's start out with white paint. So I'm dragging that transparency the whole way to the right. There's my brush size right there. And softness is at 50 and edge wear is on. So let me just paint right around this area, right in here and maybe on these trees over in here. Yeah, just, br just bring our viewer into this area here. Now I, I might take some of that off right there. So let me go to closer to almost black and just I just want to paint a little bit of that off right there. Yeah, because I want to mainly keep us in this area right here. In fact, I might even take a little bit off right there. Yeah, to pull us right in there. That's looking good. I'm happy with that. Um, let's go ahead and let's click. Here's the before and here's the after. Pretty nice. Now we're going to work on making this a little lighter in here, and I'll show you how we're going to do that next. I'm going to use an unconventional filter to bring the light in here. You'll see what I mean by that. A filter you normally don't use for that. I'm going to go to add filter and get a precision detail filter to add light of all things. First thing I want to do is go to the overall large. So we're in overall. We want to go to the large detail and I want to pull that large detail to the right. And again, we're only looking at the area Let's call it like that tunnel area right in here. It looks like a tunnel going through here, a, a pool of light. So right around 59 for that. And now we're going to go to the highlight. Let's click on highlight because we're dealing with lights, right? So we want to go to highlight and I want to take the large detail of the highlight and bump that up a good bit. And let's see. Yeah, take it the whole way to the right. Whoops. Yeah, it just makes it light right in there, which is nice. And we're going to come up here and in go to our layer mask. We're going to invert the layer mask. And we're going to just paint that little tunnel of light in there. So let's come. Let's get a brush. And let's take our transparency. Let's maybe start it around 50, somewhere right around in there. And again, I'm going to leave my edge wear on. And let's play with this radius size I have. And I just want to paint on this light area right in here. Maybe in there just a little bit too. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so let's uh, click on the eye right here. Here's the before and here's the after. And that is really nice. And, it even, and it's adding contrast. It even makes the darker areas darker, but that makes the lighter areas lighter. One more time, here's the before and here's the after. So it just lights up through there. And I think that looks really nice. Let's go ahead and put a mat around this and save it as a project after that. So let's go to add filter. Let's go to digital frame. Come down to our presets. And there's a preset in here called small white mat. I really like this one. And there's our small white mat. I'll click apply. 
and let me just make that a little bit smaller so there it is in a mat isn't that beautiful i really enjoy that now we can save it as a project and that way uh, if we wanted to print this out for print we could shut the uh, digital frame layer off it and export it without the frame or we could put this on social media by exporting it right now with the frame on it and put that up in social media. But if we save it as a project, we can come and shut that frame off at any time we want. So let's come up here to File and let's go to Save Project As and find a place you want to put it in. And I'm just going to put it in this little folder I have here called to uh, Topaz Studio 2. So I'm going to call it um, Fantasy or how about Forest fantasy f-a-n-t fantasy <laughs> am i spelling that right with frame or with i should say with mat sorry about that with mat and click on save now if you want to export it as an image just come up here to file click on export and you could you know choose the file format for instance jpeg tiff whatever you want and png whatever you want and then you can pick the color profile and the quality and all that stuff and just click export tell it where you want it to go i'm just going to click cancel for now but there it is let's see where we came from let's come up and click on original there's the original before and let's click original again and we'll see the after what do you think i love the colors in here adjust ai did a great job with this and then working with abstraction I love that abstraction filter and all the other filters we used along the way. I hope you enjoyed this one.